Okay, so this screen attaches to the wheelbase on two different heights. The first one is for the round wheels when you can clearly see the display within the rim itself. And and the second one is for formula wheels when where it takes the bottom of the display just above just above the top of the of the wheel. You 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 cannot see it from uh, from the way the the camera is mounted, but from my position I can clearly see the bottom of the display. Also, uh, the holder itself is slidable, so there is a little bit more of an adjustment uh, left to whether bring it up and down a little bit. Um, so I'm going to show you now um, how to load a Simdash display to it to your Nexion. The th first thing you're going to need is you need to go and download uh, download yourself SimHub, which is a free free software. Um, so after you connected your display to your PC, um, make sure that the adapter that you're using to connect the screen, uh, the USB adapter, is uh, correctly identified by your uh, by your PC. So uh, if you go to your device manager, it should come up here. Uh, under the, uh, probably under this name, Silicon Labs. If it if it is if it is not here, it's going to be here under different devi other devices. And in that case, you're going to need uh, to get a uh, driver for it. This is the driver that uh, worked for me. Um, there will be a link in the description under uh, to this driver. This driver is for Windows 10. Uh, from what it says in the description of it. Once your screen is identified correctly, uh, just type in Nextion uh, and launch SimHub Nextion Editor. It comes together with SimHub uh, as a one package. Also, SimHub has some uh, screens already in it when you download it. To find them, uh, you go to Files and there will be uh, inside a folder that you've installed your uh, your sim hub in sim hub next on template and these are all the dashes that come standard with it with sim hub uh, but you can also download some uh, some more dashes made by people from a site for example like race department uh, so you can really get something that you want for yourself uh, right, so as I already have a McLaren MP4 uh, dash in it, I'm gonna change it maybe to an AMG one. Right, just click open, then go to devices and check whether uh, the correct size of your uh, next gen is selected. Um, as a tip, when you're trying to uh, change from one uh, dash to another, just make sure that uh, Nextion is not connected to it. You have to turn it off. Otherwise, it's uh, just the, the program will be unable to establish connection connection with your uh, with your Nextion. Okay. So you can have a quick look on how the dashes will look like because the screen is uh, touchable so you can swap between them within the race. Uh, once you've done that, just need to output uh, output the file that you're then going to upload to your next gen. Just click on TFT file output and desktop is fine. Then you click on the file and the loader will open. Select a correct COM port and just click upload. And now as you can see, okay, there's an error. In that case, just unplug, unplug the device again. Check to correct, change to correct COM port again and click upload. And now, as you can see, the data is uploading into your next gen. Okay, so once the data is uploaded into into your next gen, we create it with a dash. Um, you can 
quickly have a look on how the dashes look like then just go to your next in display within your sim hub turn one of the of the displays on and select the correct dash that you've loaded into your next gen which in, in this case is going to be an AMG GT3 uh, select a proper COM port and just click apply um, within SimHub itself you can edit some of the gauges for example uh, with Assetto Corsa sometimes on some of the dashes the RPM bar will not be matching exactly uh, one to one in the game so in that case you need to just uh, check the engine RPMs into here in this in this dash you can see it was already pre-selected if it wasn't if it would be none then just select engine RPMs click on save exit and apply and it will then be exactly one to one to what it is within the game um, you can do it uh, when the game is running in the background and it will update live uh, every time you click apply, uh, apply the screen will refresh and it will apply the changes that you make.